Welcome to back YouTube channel Master Auto Information. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Watching the video. The McDonnell Douglas DC-8 is one of the most iconic jetliners in aviation history. Introduced in the late 1950s, it marked America's serious entry into the jet age. Although it's a plane rooted in the past, the DC-8 continues to be relevant in some niche areas even in 2025. This video takes a detailed look at the 2025 McDonnell Douglas DC-8, exploring its design, history, current use, and how it has managed to survive in a world dominated by newer aircraft. The DC-8 was originally developed by the Douglas Aircraft Company in response to the growing demand for jet-powered airliners in the 1950s. Competing directly with the Boeing 707, the DC-8 entered service in 1959. It quickly became a favorite among airlines for its range, reliability, and capacity. Over the decades, more than 550 DC-8s were built in various configurations, from passenger transport to cargo variants. Though production of the DC-8 ended in 1972, many of these aircraft continued to fly well into the 21st century. The reason? Their strong airframe, adaptability, and rugged design made them perfect for cargo conversion. Today, in 2025, while there are no new DC-8s being manufactured, a few are still operational mostly in freight rolls and with some government and military contractors. The 2025 version of the DC-8 is not a newly manufactured aircraft. Instead, it's a highly upgraded and retrofitted version of the original platform. Some aviation operators and logistics companies have taken old DC-8 frames and modernized them with advanced avionics, more efficient engines, and upgraded systems to meet modern safety and environmental standards. These modernized DC-8s are typically based on the DC-870 series, which was introduced in the 1980s. This series replaced the original noisy turbojets with quieter and more fuel-efficient CFM-56 turbofan engines. In 2025, these engines are still considered reliable, especially for cargo and utility flights and continue to meet international noise regulations with minor enhancements. What makes the 2025 DC-8 unique is how it combines classic jetliner architecture with today's aerospace technology. Retrofitted cockpits now include digital glass displays, GPS-based navigation, and fly-by-wire enhancements. Many operators have added composite materials to reduce weight and improve fuel efficiency. The aircraft's internal systems, such as hydraulics and electrics, have been upgraded with modern components that offer better performance and reliability. In terms of cargo capability, the DC-8 remains competitive, with a maximum payload capacity of up to 100,000 pounds depending on the configuration. It can still carry substantial loads across long distances. Its high cruising altitude of 35,000 feet and range of over 4,000 miles make it a solid choice for cross-continental freight missions. Even though newer aircraft like the Boeing 777F or Airbus A330-200F are more efficient, the DC-8 offers a cheaper alternative for certain operators who own the aircraft outright and want to avoid expensive leasing deals. One reason some operators still use the DC-8 in 2025 is because of its suitability for unique or harsh environments. Some DC-8s are deployed in Arctic missions flying research teams and equipment to remote areas. Others serve specialized roles for government contractors or as test beds for new aerospace systems. Their robust airframes and mechanical simplicity make them easier to repair in remote regions compared to more advanced aircraft with complex computer systems. Some versions of the DC-8 have even been used by NASA and other air agencies for scientific missions. Equipped with high-tech sensors, labs, and instrumentation. The DC-8's long fuselage and stable flight characteristics make it ideal for airborne research, such as studying the atmosphere, pollution levels, and weather patterns. 
the 2025 DC-8 is no longer a mass-market commercial aircraft but for specialized operators who understand its strengths and limitations, it continues to offer great value. Parts availability is becoming more difficult, but there are still companies that specialize in overhauling DC-8 components. Some owners even purchase sold airframes just to strip them for parts to keep their fleet flying. The economics of operating a DC-8 in 2025 are very different than in its heyday. Fuel costs are higher, and environmental regulations are stricter. However, with the right retrofits, including newer engines, winglets, and lightweight materials, some DC-8s have managed to meet emission and noise standards for limited operations. For operators who fly in frequent routes or serve destinations that don't support newer aircraft, the DC-8 remains viable. Inside, the aircraft's cabin if used for personnel transporter has been updated with modern seating, insulation, and safety equipment. But most DC-8s in 2025 are configured purely for cargo. The long fuselage and flat floor make loading easy, and the aircraft can carry a mix of containerized freight and bulk items. Pallets are secured with advanced restraint systems, and temperature-controlled compartments are often added for transporting sensitive goods. In terms of safety, DC-8 operators follow strict maintenance and inspection schedules. Because the airframe is aging, special attention is paid to fatigue, cracks, corrosion, and structural integrity. Some of the aircraft have undergone major rebuilds, replacing critical parts to extend their service life. The FAR and other aviation authorities monitor these aircraft closely ensuring they meet the same safety standards as modern planes. Pilots who fly the DC-8 in 2025 are usually highly experienced, often with backgrounds in military or commercial aviation. Training programs for the DC-8 still exist but are rare and typically offered by private contractors or in-house company instructors. The flying experience is very different from modern jets. There are fewer automated systems, and pilots must rely more on manual flying skills and a deeper understanding of aircraft systems. There's also a certain nostalgia and admiration for the DC-8. It represents an era of aviation that was bold, mechanical, and adventurous. Flying a DC-8 today is like driving a classic muscle car. It's loud, powerful, and demands respect. Enthusiasts around the world continue to celebrate the DC-8 with model kits, flight simulators, and even restored museum aircraft. The McDonnell Douglas DC-8's legacy is unmatched. From commercial airlines to military transport and research missions, this aircraft has served in nearly every aviation role imaginable. And now, in 2025, it continues to fly against all odds. Thanks to dedicated operators and engineers who refuse to let this classic fade away, the aviation industry continues to evolve with electric aircraft, supersonic jets, and autonomous systems on the horizon. Yet, the DC-8 reminds us that sometimes, old-school engineering and proven reliability still have a place in the modern world. It's not the future of aviation but it's a valuable link to the past, and in a few rare cases, still a part of the present. Looking forward, it's unlikely that we'll see DC-8s flying beyond this decade. As more regulations come into play and parts become scarcer, the few remaining aircraft will either be grounded or moved to museum preservation. Still, the DC-8's impact on commercial aviation, especially during the 1960s to 1990s, cannot be overstated. In 2025, it serves as a testament to how good design can endure. While modern jets are marvels of engineering, the DC-8's ability to keep flying after six decades is nothing short of amazing. It's a reminder that in aviation, longevity is as much about passion and care as it is about technology. That's the story of the 2025 McDonnell Douglas DC-8, a legend that refuses to fade quietly into the history books. A jet that even today, continues to earn its place in the skies with every takeoff and landing. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed learning about the DC-8, 
Make sure to like the video and subscribe to Master Auto Information. Stay tuned for more fascinating stories from the world of aviation and transport. See you in the next video.